You've added your target and source parts. You've checked the pipe preferences, the system definitions, and MEP options. Now you're ready to start adding piping to the model. Pipe layouts are actually fairly simple as long as you have a basic knowledge of piping design. Piping represents the connecting geometry, and in AutoCAD MEP, there are a wide variety of materials used. Pipe can be created as single line or double line objects as needed. But the big thing is to make sure you connect all of these objects together correctly. Make sure you have the piping workspace set current. There are several ways to add pipe. The first is to select the pipe tool from the ribbon, Home tab, Build panel. The second is to select a pipe tool from the Pressure Pipe Palette. Some of these tools have predefined settings such as the Chilled Water Supply tool. Right click on the tool and review the properties. Note that this tool only sets the system but you can edit this and set any defaults you want, such as the routing preference, shape, cut length, and more. Select OK to close the Properties dialog. One of the most common ways to add pipe is to simply select the Add Pipe Grip from a piece of equipment, which is indicated by a plus sign on the equipment. Pick the one on the face of the pump. The rule about pipe layout is this, always check properties before you pick your second point of pipe. You can make adjustments to any of the following properties. System sets the system definition. Select the binoculars icon on the right side of this line. This tool will open the Select a System tool. When the dialog appears, you are able to review the system definitions that are available in a master drawing which is defined on the Options command. You can also browse to other project drawings and templates as needed. Click OK to exit this dialog. From the Properties palette, pick the Chilled Water Supply System. Routing Preference is set to Standard in most cases. Pick the Slip-on Flanged and Threaded 150-pound Preference. Size sets the nominal diameter of the pipe. From the MV part, that also sets the size, and now you see why it's a good idea to set this early in a project. You can always come back to the Properties dialog to change pipe sizes and preferences later. Specify Cut Length lets the program pre-cut the pipe and place joints. This is a great tool for piping contractors, allowing them to have cut sheets generated automatically, but we'll leave this set to no. Elevation has been set by the center on the suction connection of the pump. If you change this elevation, the program will automatically create a riser, unless that option is turned off in the pipe preferences. Leave it as is for now. Justify sets the control line for creating the pipe. If you want to use eccentric reducers automatically, then route the pipe by one of the edges, but for most layouts, leave this set to center. You can adjust the justification later. The offsets are great for running parallel pipe. Again, we'll leave these alone for now. Slope controls the angle measurement based on our predefined pipe references. Choose what option fits the material and system best. We'll use angle. Bend method sets whether you are using a traditional elbow or an offset bend. When bend angle or branch angle is set to catalog values, the bends and branches will follow any angle defined in the material catalog when laying out the pipe but you can set this to work in specific increments, such as 45 or 90 degrees, to help keep fabrication costs down. Insulation thickness shows the insulation graphically in some display representations. If you want to show insulation, set it here. 
You can always come back and add to this later. Subfittings, such as ductile iron mechanical joint pipe, allow the pipe to flex at connections. Since this type of pipe is used underground, it needs to be capable of bending at connections. If you have the fitting tolerance set to yes, the program will make connections that are up to a predefined angle off, as long as the pipe material supports this feature. Joint direction follows the direction you draw the pipe, and sets flow direction. This correctly creates male to female connections on the pipe. The branch fittings set your first preference. Pick between T or lateral Y as the default, but you can also pick between takeoff, T, Y, or a combination of T's and Y's. Fitting settings control what the default fittings are for a pipe layout based on a selected routing preference and are added automatically to a pipe run and Preferences reviews the slope, elevation change, labels, elbow layout options, and connection assignments. Select OK to continue. Next, add piping from the pumps to the chiller. Set the display to MEP Basic 2 line so the whole pipe displays. Before you create the pipe, go to OSnap settings and turn off the AutoCAD snaps. Leave the MEP snaps turned on. Start by picking the grip on the suction face of the lower pump. Since you don't want to place a suction diffuser, draw a 5 foot long pipe segment. Next, change the elevation to 11 feet and press enter. The riser is automatically created based on the pipe preference setting. Draw a short segment up past the heat exchanger and then turn right to go out of the building. Once outside the building, drop back down to a 6 inch elevation. If O-Track is turned on, watch as a tracking line appears. This helps you line up connections between the pipe and the fitting. Pick a point when this appears. Next, use the snap to create a connection to the chiller. The routing solutions will appear and help you create a layout that works with the fittings. Cycle through these by picking the next option, but use the first solution. This connects the pipe to the equipment correctly. Press Enter to complete the piping command. If you don't like the sizes, pick a few pipe segments. When to select the pipes and change the size to 5 inches to match the connection. Accept the default reducer and then go look at the pipe. The corrected fittings were changed to flanged based on the routing preference. To create a branch, pick the other pump and then pick the plus sign grip on the suction face. Add a short leg for the branch, and then pick the main pipe. You may get a large number of routing solutions, so pick the one that shows 90 degree fittings. Type in A to accept, and then press enter. Resize the pipe to the T at the pump connection. Add the reducer when prompted. Pick the reducer and drag it up near the elbow. Notice how easy it is to relocate fittings. These techniques work well as long as you've got enough room to create the fittings. But don't forget, keep your eyes on the properties palette when routing pipe and take your time. 